is not a made-up story. It happened. It was midnight in the impenetrable black nighttime of the world. Midnight in Athens. say he was a communist. Did I have to hang him before our very eyes to keep us reminded? They'll use any device to show us that their objective is sacred. How oh, I hate them. All of them? saw you come here? What if they did? I'm a German officer. Oh, Dimitri. You look perfectly handsome in that uniform. <laughs> but come on in here. You must have a million things to tell me. Come, sit down. 
Tula, would you prepare something for Dimitri? Yes, Miss Nina, right away. No, please don't bother. I won't be able to stay very long. It'll only take a minute. Colonel von Berlin speaking. Colonel von Berlin speaking. Who? Dimitri Alexander. Yeah, he's here in Athens. I'm following him. Good, don't lose him. We want that information. He didn't want any slip up this time. How have you been getting along? Oh, it's horrible. Frightful. Why, we're living like peasants. You seem to be doing quite well. The house is warm. There's You're well... no gaiety left in Athens. The theater's dead, the opera's closed. We have no parties anymore. Parties? Well, it's, it's ghastly. Nobody smiles anymore. You wouldn't like it either, Dimitri. Oh, I'm tired of all these inconveniences. I can't stand it any longer. Oh, Dimitri, when will it all end? When will we be able to go back, take up life as it was? We'll never take up life as it was. This struggle will go on. Don't you see? Don't you understand, Nina? To go back to the life you're dreaming of would be a greater tragedy than the suffering we're going through now. It would knock every sacrifice. But how long will it go on? I want it to end. It won't end. Not until the blood shed by millions of people buys what it was shed for. The blood of free men is a grim investment, Nina. Feared by people who don't ask for the theater and the opera. All they ask for is a piece of bread and a little warmth. I've got to be leaving, Nina. Who is it? Open the door. Dimitri! <laughs> The birds are wearing strange feathers these days. Oh, my good friend. Where have you been? Oh, many places. When did you get back to Athens? This evening. I came to pick up some orders. I will be gone by tomorrow midnight. You, uh, you will have to put me up for the night. Oh, you know you're always welcome here. You must be careful. The Nazis have little mercy for imposters. The Nazis have little mercy. Have you seen Nina? Yes. They were not all like Nina. History has recorded their deeds, but not their names. Who are they? Just people, ordinary people who became fighters against the enemy, against hunger, against sickness. <laughs> So I brought him here. Don't worry. In a few days, we'll take you to Turkey. Hunted themselves, they did not hesitate to help other hunted men, other victims of the common foe. Come now, we can go. No, George. You promised not to take him yet. You stay here with mother and sister. Oh, no, Father, I'm going with you. You'll need all the help you can get tonight.
The Gestapo is slipping. They used to be smarter than this. This way, Major. It was nothing unusual if you were an intelligence officer for your missions to begin with violence. It was the end that mattered. In this case, an important mission to Egypt to supply the Allies with information on German defenses in Greece. The island of Chios was a main stop on the Underground Railway. The islanders, using their native talents for smuggling and deception, were a great help to the resistance. But there were Germans on Chios too. There was danger. some chow. I ain't had any food since I got shot down last night. We've got to get past that sentry. Not if he can help it. But the patrol will be along any minute. Then what are we waiting here for? If he don't get us, they will. Do you want to take the chance? Oh, Lord, I love you, Chichi. That's all I've been doing all my life. All right. As soon as he rounds the corner, you run. What are you going to do? I'll cover you. They say that he has eluded the patrols and is headed in this direction. He may already be here. He's a big fish and a slippery one. Have the sea patrols double check and initiate the house to house search. You're lucky it's just a flesh wound. You couldn't stay here. Patrols will be out searching. You've got to leave as soon as your guide arrives. This is just a temporary dressing. But it'll be all right until you reach the submarine. You'll have company. We've got some downed American flyers. And just as soon as you... There's been trouble. The sentry at the warehouse. Stop it, Gypsy! Dyer, have you gone mad? This is the man you're to guide. I was luckier than the German. 
Your teeth are as deadly as your gun. I'm glad you're on our side. Zaire is one of our best fighters, Major. How do you like her gypsy costume? It fooled me. You're a relentless enemy. But a good friend. There's no time to lose. The patrols will be scouring the village. Where's the American flyer? He's on his way to the camp. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. God be with you. Zaira and Dimitri had met in a curious way. In those days, there was little use for formal introductions. And sometimes, being shot in the arm served just as well. to the girl you will love. slaves.
each night. Our island is haunted by this sad refrain. A lament to love. Whose life was but a gasp. Flaring briefly in that moment between meeting and parting. This is her song, her mute complaint. Who are you, stranger? Passing through my life so suddenly. Leaving behind the torture of your absence. The echo of our happy years is silent. As fate mocks us from your place of no return. The gypsy, but sometimes strangers do pussy camp. Stranger, see? Pixie camp. Tell me again what will happen then. After you've gone, I'll have only the things you've told me. There is a man in your life who will never leave your life. peace then, and great joy. We love you then as he does now. You will always be together. Major, the landing party from the submarine is here. Oh, when are we leaving? Immediately. I am, I am. 
Come on, take that gun back to Texas. How are you going to explain that to your wife? Hello, Major. We'll have to leave. We haven't much time now. All right, let's go. She doesn't know. None of us do. Oh, you don't know. Arrest these gypsies. Burn the camp. concentration camp had become a familiar European institution. Adolf Hitler's most memorable contribution to the culture of the times. Be patient, my friends. Soon the war will end and all Europe will lie prostrate. That will be the hour of our great opportunity. Yes. The world will drop into our hands like a ripe plum. There will be opportunities for all. Curse my stupid tongue, Comrade Vanda. Of course I meant that there will be opportunities to serve the people's revolution. Exactly, Comrade Danov. We must drive out the imperialist hordes. Yes, drive them into the sea and trample them into the ground with the rotten carcasses of our native fascists. But why must there be such bloodshed? If the cause is right, can't people be won to it by reason? You're naive, Zaida. We are surgeons in a social cause. Cancer must be cut out with, with sharp instruments, not with mild nostrums. And surgery means blood. Would you hesitate to draw blood to protect human rights? Never. Would you die for your ideal? Yes. Then you belong with us. Unorganized liberalism is, is weak, it's ineffectual, it's no good. You must have a frame. Yes. A political union for your liberalism. approaching comrades yes fast approaching already the glorious legions of the soviet republic are rolling west you must have faith in them yes they are our true liberators fighting dies away. The wounds of the bleeding land are bound up. The implements of peace are put to use again. This is the moment we have suffered for, prayed for. This is the moment... <laughs> hey! Repairing the damage, John? Don't you think it's a little too soon for that? We can't begin too soon. What's more important now? The big job is cleaning up. We gotta clean up. Clean up the poison left by the swastika and those who believe in it. You know what I mean, John. I see you love your uniform so much you can't bear to take it off. You even have your gun with you. Are you planning an attack? Yeah. We're planning to take Athens. Athens? Athens is ours. 
You people have been living in the dark so long, you come out into the light, you can't see. Come on, get your gun. What are you waiting for? Peace. What we've all been waiting for. The peace we want is in the new world we're going to make. Another new world? General Headquarters has ordered units of 1st and 34th Divisions to advance to positions outside Athens. Athens? We go wherever the party directs, Comrade Saida. Yes, Comrade. Upstairs, comrades. We'll be leaving soon. Yes, yes, Marshal. All our units are ready. The proceed is ordered. I'm always sensitive to the moods of a beautiful girl. You're troubled, Sarah. Who isn't these days, Don? I noticed your reaction when Athens was mentioned. Why, does it conjure up memories? Donald, have you ever lived in Athens? Yes, many years. Beautiful city, Athens. Who knows, comrade? Maybe one of us will be chief commissar there someday. Have you ever heard of a man named Alexander? Dmitri Alexander. Alexander? Yes. He's an important man in the intelligence service. And a dangerous contact for a comrade. Forget the man of Athens. Suppose I find him on the other side. Then he must be your blood enemy as he would be ours. Why must it be this way last night? Why can't people differ in opinions without being blood enemies? I can't think of Dimitri as an enemy. You must not think. I understand, Lord Frank. There's no room for thinking in a peaceful democracy. Have made your pledge to the party, Comrade Vonda, sit down. I'm here at your orders, comrade. My units are ready and waiting. Comrade Vonda, this is the people's demonstration. Thank you. They must be aroused to march with us to freedom. Without their help, we shall fail. Does Dmitri Alexander live here? No, this is 14A. He lives in 14B. A house with a big garden. Mm -hmm. Is Mr. Mm. Alexander in? No, the Major is away. When will he be back? I don't know. Thank you. Where did he go? I don't know. He called to tell he'd arrived in Athens. The next thing I knew, he had gone away again. I don't understand it. I 
didn't expect he'd at least... Spiro. Do you think he's avoiding me purposely? What makes you think that? The last time he was here, he was so strange. This leaving so suddenly. Where could he have gone? The Germans arrested her. No one has seen her since then. She's never come back to Kiev. We just received a wire from Athens, Major. You must return there immediately. Demonstration here in Athens. Demonstration will be the signal to our comrades to, to rise and strike down these, these fascist... The eyes of the communist world will be upon us. Will we fail? No! Comrade, quiet, please. To organize the Committee of Liquidation for the Western Sector. This should be a most satisfactory assignment, Comrade Lockman. Your conduct must reflect the discipline, devotion, and resolve of the great protector of the workers of the world. Yes, that valiant defender of world peace. Did anyone call? Uh, yes, you have a visitor. A visitor? In your study. Nina, I... Well, the mountain didn't come to Mohammed, Won't you so... sit down? I missed seeing you since you came back to Athens. I've been very busy. We've had an influx of strange characters into town lately. It seems they're converging in the city for such trouble. Nina... I'm afraid I haven't been very fair to you. I should have had a talk with you sooner. I'm not angry, Dimitri. Not really. But you have the right to know how things are. Oh, don't let what's past bother you, Dimitri. These have been abnormal times. None of us has been quite himself lately. But that's over now. No, it's not over now. Something has happened to me. Easy to explain. Dimitri. There's another woman, and you think you love her. <laughs> but really, Dimitri, can these wartime romances be trusted? After all, conditions being so exciting and all... This is not a wartime romance. Where is she now? I don't know. She was arrested by the Germans. Nina, please don't judge me too harshly. Please try to understand that Understand? I... What is there to understand? I should be self-sacrificing, but I can't. I'm a woman. All I understand is that the man I love is in love with someone else. I didn't order it that way. I can't help it that my world turned upside down the moment I met Zaira. Zaira? Is that her name? Strange name. All so strange, Dimitri. I just can't believe it. I made such plans for both of us. Beautiful plans. I hoped that we could start living them now that the war's ended. But they ended too. Everything's ended now. <laughs> I'm sure this must be just as painful for you as it is for me. Don't come any further, Dimitri. Farewells are brittle. They don't stretch, they break. Nina. I'm sorry. Sorry? 
So are you in love? No, Doctor. I wish that love were mine. Poor victim of party injustice. You weren't given the cream of the assignments as you'd expected. Cream? All Danoff got was skim milk. Even the party makes mistakes. You should at least have been given a list of top officials to be liquidated. Everybody's talking about this list. Do you know who's on it? Who else but the heads of intelligence, police, and people like that? Intelligence? Has anyone seen these names? No. The names are known to Vanda and the one who gave him the list. This will only take a moment, but I had to see you privately. We're ready. Yes. The signal for the uprising will be given at the climax of the demonstration. We shall seize the utilities, police headquarters, and public works. And the purge? We'll begin simultaneously. We are particularly interested in the first ten. To meet your Alexander is your personal responsibility. It will not be easy, but it must be done. It will be done. Now, I have something for you. You'd like to get Dmitri Alexander, wouldn't you? This man's applied to police headquarters for a permit to leave the country. This is all that we have on him in our files. All right, Andrew, I will call you when I need you. Yes, sir. Paul Dano, sir. That's a Russian name. No, uh, Romanian origin. I'm a citizen of Bulgaria, as you can see in my papers. And how long have you been in Greece? Since just before the war, the Germans came, I was put in a concentration camp, also in my papers. And why do you want to leave Greece now? Frankly, Major, I don't like the hot breath of communism breathing down my neck. Are you a Afraid of the communists? No. I don't fear them as much as I hate them. I don't want to be here if they ever take over. You seem to be pretty certain that they will. I've heard them talk, Major, in the concentration camp. They were supposed to be our allies. They never lose sight of their final objectives. I can still hear Lakme's sinister voice. She was a gypsy, fanatic communist. All she talked about was the coming revolution. Tell people that, they don't believe you. They'll believe it when it's too, too late. Donald. 
Were there any other gypsies in the camp? There was another. I never could figure her out. I don't think she was really a gypsy. Do you remember her name? Zaira. Yes, Major. Stalactite number 16. A particularly brutal camp. We had an epileptic commandant. You know what happened to her? She was liberated, turned loose on the land like the rest. Have you any idea where she's now? No, Major, I don't. I, uh, have a friend who might know. Dunno. I'm extremely interested in getting in touch with the lady. You would do me a great favor if you can find out for me. Major, I'm just a little man. I'd like to be of service. Who knows when I might need a favor from a man in your position. But you'll excuse me, I, I'm not an informer. I never did trust Dunham. But what's inside his mind? The situation is very dangerous. We are too close to intelligence headquarters. You better have a talk with her. She is dressing to go into the city. Why did Donald go to Dmitry Alexander's office? Dmitry Alexander's office? What are you and Donald plotting? What do you mean? Don't play innocent. I know nothing about this. Don't lie to me. Panda! Not to leave your assigned unit under any circumstances. That's an order. Look, Donald. Please. Major. Please. It's extremely important for me to get in touch with Zaira. Extremely important, you understand? I think I do, Major. But, uh... How do I know the lady wants her whereabouts known? What is it, Dunlop? You want money? Please. If you will only be kind enough to attend to my permit. Are we going to forget the innocent men they betrayed so the fat stomachs would remain full? The land is ours. Let's take it back. Let's take it back now. Yeah. Workers. Students! Women! You cannot bring about peace and plenty into your home with tears! Hey! Athens will be placed under martial law. Troops and police units will, will remain alerted for the duration of the emergency. But they are now. Why not let them have their say? It's not what they're saying, it's what's behind it. I'd shoot them. You can't shoot people for talking. Besides, the people generally figure things out for themselves. Comrade, this is it. It's set for midnight. The people are with us. They collaborated during the war and lived the life of ease while we rotted in my hill tellies. Once again, the land is plunged into darkness. The lights flicker on, feebly, but it is a sign of hope. Never been so afraid of 
as I am tonight. With the lights turned up, they're fighting in the dark. How do they know who they're shooting? Who is it? It's me, Spiro. What are you doing out at a time like this? Well, thank God I found you at home. I've been at your office twice tonight. The fighting has spread to every part of the city. Yes, I know. How did you get here? I really don't know. By all odds, I should be dead now. They have a machine gun on every corner, it seems. Why did you take the chance? I had to. Nina's in great danger. Nina? The guerrillas have reached her neighborhood. We've got to get her out of there as soon as possible. Is she at home? She was. I hope she still is. All right, let's go. Now, come on. Take them out the back door. Search the house, comrades. He said he had come back. He did. seen coming out of Major Alexander's office in the Intelligence Bureau. I was there on party business. On whose assignment? On my own initiative. I saw a chance to do a great service to the party. And to you, Comrade Vonda. What do you mean? Don't you realize that your position in the party, maybe your life, depends on Major Dmitry Alexander? Isn't it true that he is high on the Central Committee's list of those to be liquidated? Isn't it also true that his liquidation is the responsibility of yourself, comrade? What's your point, Dono? My point is this. Major Alexander will not be easy to take. And should you fail, Go on. 
But don't worry. I have a plan to deliver Major Alexander into your hands. Without hurting a hair on a comrade's head. Why are you taking on such a great responsibility? Party loyalty. And concern for your welfare, Vonda. <laughs> I wouldn't be angry if you saw fit to reward me with the chairmanship of the personnel committee. That's one of the most important committees. Exactly. And one that needs a man of superior talents. How do you plan to do it? You must leave that to me, comrade. You want him. I have the way to deliver him. When? I'll have him in your hands tonight. All right, Dunham. I'll give you a chance to make good. You deliver Major Alexander at Getsy 112 tonight. Or you'll be dead by morning. Do you understand? Yes, Commander. I understand. Well, Danov? Have you seen your friend? I'm sorry, Major. I just can't do it. I'd like to help you, but I can't turn in an innocent girl. You're wasting time. I'd like to leave now, Major, if you don't mind. I will hold you responsible for whatever happens. I can't be an informer, Major. My conscience won't allow it. Please, Major. I'm only a little man. Let me walk my own little path. I've told you this is a personal matter. I know the girl. My interest in her welfare is greater than yours can ever be. Will you give me your word she won't be in any danger? Yes. Yes, of course. Where is she? She's living with a family at Gezi 112. Dunoff, you have done me a great favor. Think nothing of it, Major. Please, uh, uh, wait here until I come back. me until I return. and everything will be all right. We've been in difficult straits before. It's the first time I've ever had close contact with my neighbors. They're really quite nice. Too bad it takes a catastrophe to bring people close to each other. Where's my mommy and daddy, mister? You're John Carris's little boy, aren't you? Yes, sir. Do you know my daddy? Very well, son. And I know he wouldn't like to see his little boy crying, now would he? No, sir. You're not going to cry, are you? Good boy. Do you know where they are? No, son, I don't. But don't worry. You'll find them. I gotta find them. They went away and left me. Oh, <laughs> 
That poor boy will never see his parents again. They killed him this morning. They said that they collaborated with the Germans and that they're going to kill the whole family. Something hey, to tell you. What are you doing I expect to see your mommy and daddy children. soon. You're not I'll tell them I'll find you. Buy your way out this Will time. you? Don't yes. take your fur. But you must promise to be There'll brave be for a little while longer. Where you're going. Will you do that? <laughs> yes, sir. Good boy. Nina Crystal! <laughs> this is the time for courage, Nina. Only fear can hurt you. You have my name on your list. What is your name? My name is Peter Karras. Peter Karras? All right, outside.
No. No more names. You're making a place for yourself against the wall. What makes us so sure we're killing the right ones? Who judged them? Did we give them a chance to defend themselves? How many of these are innocent? In all revolutions, some die who are innocent. We have time for trials later. Stop your weapon. He's English. So what? It is not easy, even for the fighters themselves, to distinguish friend from enemy. But that's the way it always is in a civil war. That most bitter, most bloody, most tragic of all wars. It's of no use. You won't be able to make it across. Where do you live? On the square. They're even burning the synagogue. It's all right. We'll build another one. Not here. The window is broken. <laughs> been hurt. I couldn't take him home. Will you please get some water? What's your name? Dimitri Alexander. Thanks. Thanks. You will be all right now. Goodbye, David. Dimitri Alexander is going to die tonight, and I'm going to enjoy it. Dimitri Alexander? Yeah, Donna finally got him. Where? Guess the 112. Our position is critical. We may be forced to withdraw temporarily. Tell them to maintain contact and stand by for further orders.
Dimitri. Did you have to be armed to meet me? Dimitri, there's no time to talk now. We've got to get out of here. We're in danger. Dimitri, listen to me. Please, don't have set a trap for you. And you were the bait. Go, Dimitri, please. Listen to me, please. <laughs> Run, Dimitri! Would you stay a while, Dimitri Alexander? I've been waiting for this visit a long time. teach you to be a traitor. Traitor? Not anymore. I was a traitor when I listened to you. Waking up a betrayal. You're a traitor, you understand? I understand this. My ideals were right, your methods were wrong. Ideals, methods, right, wrong, right. Our victory is always right. What victory? Where are your people? <laughs> Our 
love never had a moment of peace. It was born with the sound of guns in our ears. But all that will be over. We will have peace. Our lives will be filled with sunlight and laughter. We will be able to...